Hey guys, Josh Retro Dad. I got something in the mail here. I'm going to show you guys. Ghoul School CIB. No, excuse me. Sealed. Factory sealed. Looks pretty good too. Love the box art on this. Even as that. What am I going to do with it? Brand new video. I'm actually going to open this up. This is a $468 value right now, keeping it as is. And if I send it to a certain grading company, it could be worth a little bit more. So I'm going to open it up, and we're going to lose about $350 right off the bat. Stay tuned for the next video on YouTube when I open this up and go over it. And we'll even talk about the game. I've already done it before, but we'll talk about some more. I'm going to open it up. Ghoul School for the NES. That was shot a couple days ago, and we're going to open up this after this. So I got this factory sealed ghoul school. Now I used to have a complete in the box ghoul school back in like 2013, I think we originally got it. Ghoul School was released for Nintendo Entertainment System in 1992. It was published by Electro Brain. In Ghoul School, you play Spike O'Hara. The school has been infested by ghosts, ghouls, and other spooky creatures. The staff and football team have been turned into monsters. To add insult to injury, these vile creatures have kidnapped the head cheerleader Samantha. Now it's up to Spike to save the day. Possibly even get a date with Samantha for saving her. Spoiler alert, he doesn't. He's put immediately into the thanks for saving me friend zone. My first thought was, hey, let's open it up and see what a factory sealed NES game looks like. Because I haven't seen one in a long time. Now I've had two factory sealed NES games before. One was Chiller, potentially factory sealed. Let me put that disclaimer. And the other one was Cartoon Workshop. That was 100% factory sealed. Ghoul School doesn't look graphically bad, it looks decent. The game has a familiar design of that Bart vs. Space Mutants. When Bart fought those mutants from space on the NES, it took place in 1991. It was published by Acclaim. Some of the same designers worked on Ghoul School. Even Bart and Spike have a similar look and walk in a way. Those giant eyeball guys look like they were beamed right into the game from Bart vs. Space Mutants. The value of this right now is 478 give or take dollars in this condition. It's pretty good, and I'm going to show you some shots closer up with the seal. I don't know how to judge plastic, and I'm not that kind of collector. I also don't collect sealed games. I bought this just to open it up. Also, I don't mind a CIB Ghoul School again, but we're going to open it up. I am going to try my best to keep some of the wrapping, but we're going to open up the top very carefully, and we're going to take the insides and look at everything. There are over 200 rooms to explore. You don't need to explore that many. A lot of the rooms are similar. Classrooms mostly. These rooms have green apples for energy. It's easy to get lost in Ghoul School. Some halls have dead ends. Recently, this game is considered an early example of Metroidvania type of playstyle. Freedom to explore, but it's a death sense you try to go to places you're not ready to go to yet. So I have not opened this up yet. That will be for Sega Saturn Adventure. It is coming. So going off on this one to this one, if I sent that in for grading, it probably would be higher than this. I think it's an 8.5. And this is sealed too, factory sealed. I am going to open this up eventually. Now we are talking about two different systems. We're talking about NES versus Sega Saturn. And I will tell the story about how I got this and what I was planning on doing with it. I got it for a really good deal, but that'll be for another Sega Saturn video. If I was sending this into WADA or another grading company, the value could be over $500. So I'm losing hundreds of dollars to open this up. Well, here's a seller that wants $1,200 on eBay for this sealed copy. Sealed graded copy of 7.5 plus. We're asking about $1,800. Money isn't everything. It's the only thing. And everyone, everyone has a price. Mario or a Mega Man or something like that. It'd probably be worth a lot more money factory sealed. You need to find weapons in order to get stronger. Some weapons work better on certain monsters. There was a lot of backtracking in this game and no map. Again, it's easy to get lost, but you need to find those weapons and shoot upgrades in order to survive. There are a few boss fights before the last big baddie. The Grim Reaper is one. You need his weapon. So kill death. Enough stalling. It's time to open this up.
Ooh, I don't think that's going to work. I better use the scissors. Okay. <sighs> Come on, give the little guy some support. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm being careful as I can. You can do it! All right, here we go. So I got that, I'm not gonna use this anymore. Okay, so I have that, so I'm just gonna carefully peel off the plastic now. Oh, one little piece of plastic. Oh, there we go. So I wanna keep most of the plastic on there. I do like the cell phone wrap on the NES games. I don't care about being sealed. I want to be able to open it up and play the game if I want to play the game. So I'm going to have to be very careful. I don't want to rip any more plastic than I have to. So I'm just being gentle. And it's kind of awkward because I'm shooting this. And I don't want to rip into it. Cause I, I, I'm fighting all my instincts just to open up and rip it open. Don't want to do that. Well, after some trial and error, God, it did not go as smooth as I thought. Uh, I did nick the box. It was more difficult than I thought. I want to keep some of the wrapping on it. But now let's actually open this box up and look what's inside. Uh, now this has been sealed for, what, 30 years now? So let's look inside and peek what a brand new NES game would look like. Oh, look at that. Still in its wrapping, obviously. Now that's a minty cart. Now before using your NES, you know, cool school manual. Untouched by human hands since it was put in here. I uh, got Nintendo Power. Oh, free games. I wonder if I could still send this out. No poster, nothing really fancy in here. Let's open up the cart. Look at that. Brand new. Look how shiny that is. That is a new cart. I had to fight all instincts just not to rip it open. But it was fun opening it up. You know, I haven't opened up a new NES game since 1992 or something. So it's kind of fun opening this up. What do you think? Was it worth opening it up? It was more challenging than I thought trying to keep most of the plastic wrapping on here. And you know, the box does have a little neck here. That is a minty cart. Well, it's brand new. Hasn't been touched and I'm gonna pop it in the NES later. Ghoul School is one of the few horror themed NES games out there. It's probably the worst of the bunch. I'm in the minority, but I like Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street. I enjoy them. If you're expecting a Castlevania type game in Ghoul School, you will be disappointed. Like Castlevania, it too has knockback. If you're on stairs or get hit by bats or those eye guys, you'll go the opposite way you want to travel. I kept most of the plastic wrapping on it. You know, still there. Just took the top off and I still kept the hang tab here. Would you have opened this up or would you have kept it sealed and maybe graded? Send it to WADA or another grading company. Now, if you do that, that's fine. That's not what I do. I love collecting the NES. This is Josh Retro Dad. Just wanted to show you guys what an NES game looks like brand new. I did it partly for myself too, as I always wanted to see what a new NES game 
looks like inside. And I thought this one had a poster, but I might be thinking of another game. Ghoul School was released late in the NES lifespan, and it's not fondly remembered. You can understand why after playing it. The first time playing Ghoul School is probably a terrible experience. I didn't own this game originally until around 2013. I went to the game blind, thinking it was like Castlevania. I was wrong. I got lost in the repeating halls and rooms. The bat was puny. To be fair, once you get to know what you're doing, it does get better. It has moments of fun. I like the theme, even the enemy designs. Secrets like breaking the scoreboard to remove the bouncing basketballs, or the clock to bypass the zombie students that are extremely tough, are nice additions and secrets to find. I really enjoy the ending. He keeps looking at Samantha saying, come on. I just saved you. And she doesn't look back. It says it all. Just friends. Well, that's cool school for the NES. Josh Retro Dad, thank you so much for watching. Have fun. Go game. And see you later. And we're going to do an experiment to see if I can turn $100 into $20,000 of video game merchandise from my collection. Video games we're talking about. Can an average gamer like myself, average collector, can they turn around and make a business out of this, take a hundred dollars and turn it into a massive collection equaling $20,000? Can he turn this into that dream goal? Well, let's find out in this series, the hundred dollar challenge. If you like what you watch, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification, get to know about what else I'm posting, and do a lot more stuff on TikTok with shorter videos. Please sub, follow, like, comment, and see you later. Do I regret it? Nah.